Jason. Hey, man. We got a show to do. Come out. Huh. I wonder where he could be. Jason. He'll find me later. You're doing it on purpose, sing like a sing dong key. Talk to the girl that intimidates you, pretend that you're brilliant and charming. I said, pretend that you're brilliant and charming. Hey! Oh man, if I don't care, man, don't me sign. Welcome, everybody. Welcome into Pinpoint right here in Fayetteville for our spooky Halloween themed episode. Bo, this is your place, man. This is my place. Yes. We come in here a couple times a year. It's Love cool it. to have you guys in here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Nightmare on Block Street. We've had a crazy month. Man, you've, you've done so much. First of all, talk about maybe the bar and, and oh, this well, space in here. How long did it take you to make this a reality? We shut down for a whole week. Wow. And our teams come in, you know, we get everything dialed in. We have a big plan. I mean, it really starts in February of the previous year. We plan all year of what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, like what movies are cool, what are we going to spookify, how we're going to make a menu, and then it all comes together at the end of September. And we, yeah, it's it's incredible. You outdid Super yourself. Super transformative. Yes, this year it's amazing and you did more than just what's happening here at the bar you had some stuff happening there's a seance there was a partnership Movie screenings. with dance yeah we've uh, done ballet. so we uh mount sequoia we've been showing some locally produced horror films yeah. we those went really really well we've been doing seance shows over uh just up the street in the alley uh with chase goforth and wyatt beck they're doing some magic and mysticism yes. and you know of course we've been here doing our immersive spooky cocktails all month long yeah and all spooky pinball. The whole collection is just scary. Do you have any new, uh, new pinball machines that you brought out maybe just for this? Oh, yeah. This year we had the brand new Alien this year. And there's a brand new uh, John Carpenter's Halloween that were literally made this year. Wow. And we had some uh, on loan from our friends at the Max in Tulsa. So we had the Ghostbusters oh, Limited yeah. Edition, Stranger Things, pinball, all of it. I love that. Were there any recent movies that you celebrated and chose to spookify this year? Absolutely. So, you know, they just had that new Candyman film. That's right. I love that we one. We did a Candyman area. And then the new uh, Hulu uh, Hellraiser series. Yeah. And we did a whole Hellraiser booth, the Lament configuration floating in the middle. So don't open the box. Don't open uh, that box. You don't want to open that box. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we had Michael Myers. We had, you know, Jason Voorhees. We Classics. had all, uh, arachnophobia. We had... Harry Potter, you know, we got butterbeer on draft. It was, it's, it's been a really good time. Man, what a great job you do here. And we've got a great episode lined up for the folks at home. Let's just talk about, first of all, with you. You're going to make one of your signature cocktails, is that right? Yeah, I'm going to make our, our flagship drink, the Live, Laugh, Lovecraft. And then I uh, might have you try some of our Birdie Bots Every Flavored Shots. Ooh, I love that you got all this holiday spirit going on. We got drinks from Bo. We've got our great friend Patty Steele joining us as our musical guest. And right now, after the break, we head to Walton Art Center to check out the second annual Our Art, Our Region, Our Time exhibition. So stay tuned. All that fun happening later. We're back for another year here at Our Art, Our Region, Our Time at the Joy Pratt Markham Gallery of Walton Art Center. Kathy Thompson joining me again because you're the curator. Year <laughs> two. Can you believe it's back? I can't believe it's been a year. Yeah. But I'm really excited because I think it's a fabulous show. Yeah. I can't wait. What does it mean for you as the curator to see such interest from the community of artists who want to be a part of this show? I mean, you doubled just in your entries for this year? Well, it tells us what we know already, is that there are a lot of artists in Northwest Arkansas in the region. And just walking in here, you know, the art this year, I feel, I, I feel similarities to last year's mm -hmm. show, 
but differences as mm -hmm. well. Even in how you've laid out this space in here, yes. can you talk to us about maybe what folks can expect when they come to see this exhibition this year? I think that it uh, is different in the way that people are different now. Hmm. I know that sounds odd. No, that's good. But there are a lot of portraits there, and some of the portraits spaces are covered and I think that people are learning how to be around people again. Interesting. Yes, and then there's also a lot of nature things right. also, which is very important right now. Certainly. We've got this big us. beautiful piece behind mm -hmm. us, right, yes. which is the Buffalo River. Yes. Isn't yeah. that wonderful? It's beautiful, absolutely. Yeah. And Maybe... it's the 50th anniversary of the Buffalo River. We've got different types of art, so maybe you could speak to that as well mm -hmm. because there is there's painting, obviously. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's some photography. Absolutely. Large mm -hmm. portraits, small things, sculptures. Mm -hmm. What do you have yes. here at this exhibition? Well, we have quite a few paintings, but they're all very different. And then there's a photograph. There are photographs over there on that wall. You've got a mixture, yes. I would say, like yes. so many and so many uh, artists' contributions, imaginations, and that's one thing I love about it. When I come into here and I see all of the art, it inspires me. Right, even if it's nature or, mm -hmm. or a representation of nature, a representation of a person's face, learning how to look in people's faces again, right? Seeing their full face yes. and not just the mask. Yes. So like it's a really beautiful curated mm -hmm. show that you've done here. How long is it gonna be uh, available for people to come and see? How long is the show up? A month and a half. Okay. I wish it were longer. Yeah. I have to say, I feel unfortunate that it's such a short period of sure. time. But, you know, it is what it is and yeah. their schedules, but maybe next year. Yes. Yes, we're thinking about the schedules for next year. I do not want to skip these pieces right here in the middle sure. on the stands. They are Leon Niehaus, who is one of our Arkansas treasures. He has work that the Smithsonian Institution in D.C. has bought for their permanent collection. And um, his are incredible. And if people come, Please come into this room yeah. so that you don't miss all these wonderful, yes. uh, eclectic pieces. That's in right. Here. Some of my favorite pieces are in this room. Yes, certainly take in the big room, but then come around here. It looks like there's a you know a little partition off, and you have to see what's in here because it's absolutely beautiful. Kathy, thank you for the work mm -hmm. that you've done on this exhibition again for year <laughs> two, and you have to come see this exhibition. It's gorgeous. It's right here at the Joy Prep Markham Gallery at Walton Art Center. I'm joined now by artist Shelby Fleming. We're right in front of her piece of brittle that's on display here at Our Art, Our Region, Our Time at Walton Art Center. Thanks so much for taking the Hi. time. Yeah, to chat. thank you for having me. Of course, yeah. I can't wait to talk to you about this. But first of all, tell me your sculpting career. When did you start sculpting? Yeah, so I started, uh, I thought early in life I was a drawer, but um, I took my first sculpting class in probably 2015, so wow. it's uh, it's been quite a career path. So we were talking before mm -hmm. we started rolling here on what this is made of. So it's fabric dipped in plaster. Explain to me the process. Yeah, so these um, pieces are, uh, I create a vector file in Adobe Illustrator um, and then cut them out on the laser. So if you're not familiar, epilogue lasers, um, they're able to cut through different various materials. This one is just fabric. Um, so I was able to cut out close to 200 uh, of these pieces in three hours. So it really fast-tracked the process that yeah. used to take by hand 10 hours to do um, five pieces. Wow. And, uh, and then I go about dipping each individual one in plaster and then draping it over a particular form so that it takes on that organic shape. And then you link them all together, or are they all hung separately? So these are all hung separately okay. from the ceiling. Um, it was about a 20-hour install. Um, over the course of three days, um, and the staff were super, super generous and offered support all the time. Yeah. Um, but it is one of those pieces where, um, as you install, it's almost like you're holding the brush stroke. It's hard to give someone else the brush stroke sure. to make that mark. Um, but it was great working with the staff and being able to accommodate it, expanding outside of the gallery as well as inside the gallery. So it kind of led the viewer in. Did you kind of have an idea of what you wanted it, the shape you wanted it to take? Uh, when you started the install, or did it take on a life of its own as you were hanging the pieces? 
Yeah, I, I definitely think like talking with the curators and making, they saw, showed me the space the day before and I was like, I wanna break the fourth wall of the gallery yeah. um, and really enter that space of it being like not in a white cube, but also in a white cube. Um, so it takes on that larger conversation of a critique of the art that happens in NWA because there's not a lot of galleries to show your work in. Certainly. Um, so there's a lot of like we have to enter alternative spaces in order to show our work, but is it shown on the same level as something that is shown in like Crystal Bridges or the Momentary? Do people actually take it seriously if it's just in a coffee shop? So. Right, I know. That's <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. You're in this beautiful Joy Pratt mm -hmm. Markham Gallery here at WAC. How, tell me how it feels to you to have a piece like this. And I know you had something in last year's exhibition as well. Mm -hmm. This is the second year for this. They brought you back. Yeah. How does that make you feel? I'm part of the part of the community here. Oh, absolutely. Um, and I was just telling you earlier, like uh, last night we had our kind of private artist opening, and it was it felt like a reunion yeah. of all the artists in NWA. So it was great to see faces that I haven't seen in a year, and then other faces that we've been in various shows together. Um, but it's a really unique platform in that it really is able to target the diversity and bring an inclusion into one space, um, which doesn't happen in NWA. This is the first show last year that we all really found where you could submit as a NWA artist and then be represented. Um, it's a very special show. How can people follow you and your career? Do you have social media? What's yeah, the best yeah, way to, yeah, yeah. So uh, you can find me on Instagram at Shelby Lynn Fleming, um, or you can find me on my website at shelbylynnfleming.com. That's it. Yeah. Thanks so much for taking the time yeah, to hang out yeah, with us. Thank you. We appreciate you. Yeah. Our art, our region, our time is on display right now at the Joy Pratt Markham Gallery at Walton Art Center. 76 artists from 17 cities across our region are featured here in this gallery and it is amazing. You have got to find yourself here within the next couple of weeks. Stay with us, we've got more happening later. Always great hanging out with our friends at Walton Art Center. Oh, for real? Yeah. But now what's next? Our musical guests. Well, who are we gonna call? Patty Steele. <laughs> Celebrating 10 seasons all year long on Later with Jason Sewell. Our musical guest brought to you by Walton Art Center. Walton Art Center presenting the West Street Live series.
Welcome back, everybody. What was that? I know, I can't, <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. We're once again here at the bar at Pinpoint. Bo, you got some special drinks for us? I do. Uh, we're going to make one of our favorite drinks of the month. It's called the Live, Laugh, Lovecraft. Oh, so if you, nice. If you, yeah, if you like Lovecraft, if you like Cthulhu, if you like tentacles, this is, or tequila, this is a drink for you. So, you just named the trio of my favorite things. That's right. Yeah. So we're gonna put it in one of our Nightmare on Block Street cauldrons. And it's a it's a pretty simple cocktail. Uh, you know, we, we it's tequila, it's lime, it's jalapeno agave, it's pomegranate. Who doesn't like that? The jalapeno agave, does it have a little bit of a kick to it? So believe it or not, uh, most people think it's gonna be spicy. Right. It's not spicy. There you we go. We cook the jalapenos down into with agave nectar, and it becomes more of like the fruity warmness of a jalapeno instead of like the spicy heat of a jalapeno. Okay. And uh, it's it's quite delicious. So gonna add our pomegranate juice, add some of that jalapeno agave nectar, add some tequila. When you come down here uh, at the bar on Halloween, we just, we go so fast that you you, you know you don't have no any any idea. No, I know. Idea. I feel like you're 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 going in slow so, motion right now just for television. Well, honestly, it's really hard having to go slow yeah. and explain it because you get into muscle memory when it's so busy. You right. just go go boom, go boom, go boom, go boom, go. Boom. Yeah. So get all that stuff in there. Get on some ice. Give it a, a little, little shake. shake. And it's really kind of just a twist on like a ranch water or a margarita. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, and you know, nothing super complicated here. And then we will ice up our cauldron like a so. And then we got our spooky strainer. Oh, man, you did everything has a spooky flair to it. Everything it's amazing. has a spooky flair to look it. Look at that color. I don't know if you can see it. And that. then a little bit of magic. Look at that. Look at the cauldron. Got a little bit of flowing. Can we, we get gonna, that? We got a. Get it with some soda in there. Woo! And then, what would it? Anything it's Lovecraft? Lovecraft, you got to throw that. Has to have a tentacle. Yes. So there you go. That, you got yourself a live, laugh, Lovecraft. Lovecraft. Uh, how many of these? Like, what percentage of these compared to your other drinks do you make? We sold thousands of those this month. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. And believe it or not, uh, I still have a few tentacles left. <laughs> so uh, it's amazing how many tentacles you have to buy in advance for an event like this. <laughs> so maybe you might find those tentacles making their All way over back town. Out. Yes. Everybody's got tentacle fingers. <laughs> Who now. knows? It's crazy. Who knows? But I thought, Jason, yes. we would do something a little special. Okay, let's do it. What and are we doing? I've got our Birdie Bots Every Flavored Shots. Okay. Right? Now, this is a take on Birdie Bots Every Flavored Beans, Beans from Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Right. So it's our Nightmare on Block Street special. I'm gonna give you a flavor. Okay. I'm gonna have a flavor, and chew it up. See if you can figure out what the flavor is. I have the warp. My palate is destroyed. I'll tell you that. So we'll so see. So yeah, give it a little. Give it a little one of these. Okay. Loosen I up. I think I know what mine's gonna be. You probably do. Mmm. Mm. All right. Come on. Whoop. Now yeah, chew it up good. Just swirl it around. Think about it, Jason. What What are you getting there? What's happening? Describe what's happening. It's very what? stringent, uh, acidic. I don't know. Are it's you ex disgusting? Are it's, you ex are you experiencing any sensations? Like, do I want to vomit? No, 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 no. Like, is it a vomit one? No. Is your is your is your mouth uh, experiencing any sensations? Are you perhaps starting to tingle? Yes, you're giving me is clues. I can tell. There's, it's staying tongue, with me. Is your tongue getting numb? Numb. Yes. Yeah. Totally. I have that, a numb tongue. That is a buzz button Ooh. jello shot. It is a it is a flower that uh, has a numbing sensation. It 100 percent does. What are you talking about, Bo? I don't know what's happening right now with my tongue. I got orange cream. I, See, uh, you yeah. knew what these were. Oh, I this, made them! This is staying with you. It's going to stay with you. Uh, so Wonderful. The, the buzz button flower is, yeah, it's it's, it's notorious for, for making your taste buds change flavor, making your mouth go numb, and I, I knew you would enjoy that one. Do people know what they're going to get when they order a Birdie Bot? You just bring Do you them know what you get when you eat a Birdie Bot bean? I love it. I love it. You could get barbecue. You could get orange cream. You I don't know. know. Doing you don't a know. roulette down here at Pinpoint. Mm -hmm. Thanks for making the drinks. Of I mean, course, I guess thanks. Pleasure. You're drinking that one now because you can taste it and I can't. 
How is it? It's actually delicious. My taste buds still work. Of course they do. I hope yours trick do too. Trick or treat, mostly tricks. Stay with us, we got more fun happening later. I can't believe he did that to me. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Later with Jason Sewell. Remember, you can find us out there on your social media platforms. You can send us an email over at laterwithjasonsewell.com. Before we leave this episode, we got to thank our amazing guests, including the one and only Boathouse, for having us out to pinpoint and for also making us that cocktail and making me have that jello shot. Of course. Yeah. It's my pleasure. <laughs> and we got to give a shout out to Patty Steele for providing some awesome music for us tonight. Absolutely. And our friends at Walton Art Center for walking us through their art exhibition. That's our show. We'll see See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Oh, oh. How we do? We're good.